parents once wanted a specific dog so badly they flew all the way to Germany to get her. This dog was a purebred Doberman Pinscher named Flash, and she soon became the obsession of my sister and I. I'll be talking about why owning her was an interesting time to say the least, and one specific story involving her that my family always talks about. She's impacted me in many ways, for example, my first word as a baby was dog because of her, and although she's made us have some not very fun experiences, it's always brought some excitement to our lives. When my dad was growing up, his best friend always had Dobermans from the same breeder. At 15, he too vowed that he would one day get a dog from them. So decades later, he put his name on the wait list, and he waited three years for the call that Flash had been born. She grew up to be about this tall, had her like two pointy ears, and everyone was absolutely terrified of her. I grew up with Flash in a microscopic sized town called Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, where the population was about 2,000 people, and you'd get from one side to the other in about 10 minutes. So basically, it was a very tiny knit community where everyone knew everyone. So it makes sense that everyone knew who Flash was. First of all, it was because there's only Doberman around, but second of all, it was because of the thunderstorms. So her backyard had these like five foot tall wire fences, and she had a big heated dog house, squirrels galore, she was very content there, until the first boom of thunder and drop of rain, because after that she was gone. She would leap her tall fence, I still don't know how, and just keep going. So we'd be out like driving around this golf course for hours looking for this huge, 80 pound Doberman just running around in a thunderstorm. <laughs> so one particular time, we just could not find her anywhere. Um, we were running around looking for her. I was like soaked. There was tears streaming down my face. Thought we wouldn't be able to find her. And the neighbors all got together and started helping us too. And it had been three hours, and there was still no sign of flash anywhere. <coughs> so defeated, we all like headed back to my house. And that's when I noticed like a small little shadow like along the fence of my house. So I opened the car door like mid jive and like ran up to the fence, realizing as I got closer that it was Flash. Apparently, she had tried to jump the fence, and her back paw had gotten like caught in the top of it, and she was like dangling from the fence by her back paw, her like front paws barely touching the ground, like in a handstand position, and had not made a single peep the entire time. We were calling her name, so I was kind of mad at her about that. But our neighbors had ran over to their house and everyone got like wire cutters and like helped hold her as we like cut open the fence and stuff and we got her down successfully. But yeah, so she broke a toe that night, but was otherwise okay. And although she made <coughs> um, thunderstorms and nerve wracking experience as a kid, this still brought some entertaining stories. So she passed away at eight years old due to some chronic medical conditions, but she definitely lived a very full life.